G'day guys, Steve Fitzpatrick here from Your Building Broker with a quick tip to make sure that you don't get caught out if you've got existing furniture that you plan on putting into your brand new home. Now this is something that I've seen people get caught out on uh, quite a few times actually, more, more times than uh, I'd like to admit in that people just haven't been advised or they've just been caught out because of some little bit of detail that's been overlooked. So I'm going to share that with you today to help you avoid this mistake. Now it's in relation to placing furniture within a niche that you design in your house. So a good example of this is when you've got an existing TV cabinet and perhaps an existing large TV and you're going to put that into a recess in your living room. So I'm just going to draw this for you so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Let's say you've got the wall coming in across like this and then you've got a nice big niche there for your TV cabinet. And let's say, for argument's sake, the room comes across like this and you've got a pair of double doors where you're going to come in here, you've got your existing three-seater lounge, it's going to go here, you've got a nice two-seater lounge, it's going to go here, Nice little corner table, and perhaps you've got a coffee table as well. And you've designed this room and you're thinking, right, we've got all these pieces, we've also got a TV cabinet that we want to put in just here. Now, a lot of people, when they look at the plans, they check the plan dimensions and they make sure that the width here is going to be the right size for this cabinet to fit in. So let's say you do check this width and it shows on the plans 1.510 which is 1.51 metres um, in width and your cabinet is exactly 1.5 metres. So if the house gets built like this as 1.510 your cabinet's going to just fit in nice and smoothly and there's only going to be a small 5mm gap. It's going to look very neat, very clean. And you might be looking at the plans and thinking, hey, that's what we want. Something really nice, nice neat fit and everything's going to be okay. But, and here's the but, this is what a lot of people get caught out on, is that these dimensions that we draw on the plans in Perth are always to brickwork dimensions. But our brickwork's never left bare, or in most cases it's not unless you're using face brick, but for the most part there's going to be plaster on it. So what happens is the wall gets plastered, and when that wall gets plastered, you actually end up losing space on either side of this recess. Now, plaster is generally 10 to 13 millimetres deep. More often than not, having plaster coming in on this side and having plaster coming in on this side is going to reduce your niche in width by 25 millimetres or 2.5 centimetres. Now it seems really small, right? It's only a small thing, but that would actually bring this down Instead of 1510, it's coming to 1485 or 1.485 metres, which means your beautiful TV cabinet is not going to fit anymore. Now, I have seen this happen a few times, and it's something that I don't want you to get stuck with. So keep it in mind, the dimensions on the plans are always to the brickwork, and they don't take into consideration things like plastering, even things like floor tiling. The same effect can happen with a refrigerator. If you've got a refrigerator that is 1.8 metres high, I'm just going to clean this board. So if you've got a refrigerator that's 1.8 metres high and you've got overhead cupboards above the refrigerator, you want to make sure that they're not 1.85 millimetres above the fridge. Let's say this is your fridge recess, and there's your cabinets above it. 
So you've got a few cab cabinets there. And your fridge is going to go in here. Now, the thing that you have to think about is the concrete here, at this level, is going to have some tiles on it. And your tiles or your stone or your timber floors, timber floors could get up to you know, 25, 30 mil uh, in size. And so your actual floor level will, will be up here somewhere. So if this dimension was exactly right for your fridge, all of a sudden you're too short and your cabinets are going to be too low. And you might have paid two or three, four or five thousand dollars for a fridge. And you're going to be stuck with a fridge that doesn't fit. So make sure you measure it out and then make sure you think about the extra materials like tiles, like render, all of those things that can go on there that's going to minimise and reduce that space. I'm Steve Fitzpatrick from Your Building Broker. I hope this has been a good tip and been helpful to you. I hope you don't get caught by it. Good luck with your build and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Thanks.